Okay, now this should be the final video before I can release beta 3 of Levinix. And there are more elegant ways to do this, but after Pipulate is installed along with Python and all the other stuff, I need to get it running in such a way that it's running in the background, frees up the menu uh, to come back. And this nohup command is a good way to do that. It's built into BusyBox, it's available, nothing to install. So here's a before and after. The before is localhost 8888, nothing reachable, right? And then I do nohup python pipulate. I'm cd'd into that uh, repository directory that's been built. And I uh, end it with an ampersand so that we get our cursor back. I believe we get our cursor back. Do we get our cursor back? Hmm. I need to check that detail. But at any rate, we do a refresh. It's a bit slow. Let me look at the documentation I was looking at. Yeah, ampersand is supposed to do the trick. We can output the stuff that's in the file that it's trying to create. Oh, but there's our after. So pipulate is in fact running. We haven't got, oh yeah, we do get our cursor back. I did exactly the right thing. Uh, it just took a moment to happen. There's this appending output to nohup.out. So I think if I ls, there's a, a nohup.out. That could be useful for, uh, for debugging. Uh, Levinix systems are gonna be reset uh, quite a bit. So I'm gonna keep it like that for now. So I've got my solution. Again, I said there's more elegant ways to do this. I do know that. But this means that the thing that builds, ah, that does the install, yes, yes. There's, there's two places this needs to uh, be made to run. First is in um, pipulate.sh which is, uh, I'm actually SSH'd into the GitHub right now. Let me uh, open a new tab, CD to my desktop, CD into Linux LS, CD into reset server ingredients, LS, vimpipulate.sh, Okay, after it's actually installed and everything, I need to actually make it start running uh, before we exit for the session during which you installed it, right? So uh, we will cd into slash home slash tc slash pipulate, and then we will uh, Let's see, no, that wasn't there. It's just, I know it happens to be no hub python pipulate.py ending with the ampersand. Now, <clears throat> we're going to have to do one more thing so that it restarts again uh, after a complete Linux restart. Um, and for that, we put those things into bootsync.sh. It has to be written to the end of bootsync.sh. And I have examples of that like everywhere. So this is RC local. That doesn't do it, but recipe certainly does. Whoops, that's not how we do that. Recipe.sh, open with, hooray, text edit is there. And all I need to do is look for examples of bootsync.sh. And see how you just echo into the end of the file there? I copy it, I go over here, I paste it, 
And now the same command that I'm running right now, I also put in to, uh, into uh, bootsync.sh. So I have to include both the CD home tc slash pipulate and um, backslash ends you can put between them. If you use backslash n, you need to echo hyphen e because you're doing some formatting. So echo hyphen e backslash n for a line return. And then no hup python pipulate.py. Hmm, this looks pretty good. I believe we're going to have to do uh, a, uh, a backup at that moment. Let's see. Oh, a directory? No, we don't have any new locations we need to store. Uh, that's already been taken care of uh, because it's just in home, which is persistent. So we don't need to do this. Um, but do we do need to do any sort of backup? Yeah, we're going to run the backup tool just to be safe because anything that we did that's configuration like uh, needs to be backed up. So I will paste that in. Oh, we have one right there. So all I have to do is Oops. Nope, not that one, this one. And paste that there. And that should do it. Uh, nothing I've done has been inside uh, the Levinix system, uh, which means I can just X out of this, and then I can do a server reset and confirm that all is good. CD desktop Linux get status. I should only see the files that I have edited have been changed. Yep, pipulate.sh. And now I am going to restart it, and I'm sure I will do some sort of fast forward so you don't have to wait through a whole Linux build again. Here we are on the menu. I choose build pipulate. We get our nice menu. We'll watch it start to begin. And then we will pause and come back in a moment. Okay. Well, while this is building, I figure in the spirit of before and after, I go over here, I do a refresh, and you will see that uh, localhost 8888 is not reachable, right? And uh, I think maybe even I will move that onto the same window and arrange these for a nice efficient uh, before and after. Okay, I just saw the uh, git pull occur and the final backup is occurring. And if all goes well, we should see the menu pop back. Uh, it takes an annoyingly long time. I might distribute this in a pre-built format, but at any rate, it's still useful to build everything from uh, nearly from scratch, such as Tiny Core allows you to do. And uh, we'll have our before and after in a second here. Hmm, backup is taking longer than I expected. I guess that's a, a full backup again of all the uh, software that's been installed. I might rethink the necessity for that. Probably not necessary after all. I had written to the uh, bootsync.sh file, which is on the ops drive, which is persistent. So this, I do believe, is an unnecessary backup. But any, at any rate, it's done. The menu's back. And if I do a refresh, 
voila, Pipulate is running. And so I've done everything I believe is necessary. Oh, one nice thing to do will be a, uh, a shutdown for, and then once it starts, without doing a reset, bring it back to, uh, to see Pipulate running again. Now on my own time, I will make sure that that backup is, not, is actually not required and then I'll do a git push uh, up to GitHub so that uh, beta 3 is in releasable format. Loading the extensions. I'm tempted while this is going on to go and edit out the, uh, the backup command that I put in there. Um, but just out of caution, I'm going to uh, let this finish. I really need to look at ways to cut down uh, the amount of software in here. Instead of using all of Pygreen, which I don't necessarily need, uh, maybe perhaps I will just use uh, Flask without Pygreen. That'll get rid of the Mako templates. I do a refresh. It just might not have started yet. Let's give it a little time. Hmm. It does not look like it started uh, Pipulate before the uh, menu came back after a restart. How do we check that? Uh, clear. Uh, SSH TC at localhost port twenty two twenty two. Foo. That gets us in. LS CD pipulate. There's our nohub.out, but let's see if, uh, if Python is actually even running. Uh, PS and AX. Yes, hyphen A. Mm -hmm. Not seeing it. So we can check uh, to see if it made it into boot sync. Uh, CD opt ls less boot sync dot sh. Well, there it is. Ah, the menu comes back before those commands are done. I believe I need to either, oh, and the, uh, the ampersand is not at the end of it here either. This makes me think if I exit out of that menu, it's going to actually run. And if that's the case, I know how to fix this. So we go back here. I exit to login. Hmm. Oh, there goes the no help command after exiting to login. It took more exits to login than I thought would be necessary, but there is the running of that. And uh, let's see. There's Pipulate running, as expected. Okay, that was the uh, telephone call that I 
need to wrap up for the day, so let me just make a final desperate uh, grab at this. So all this stuff is happening in, uh, in here. So I forgot to put the ampersand in here. That was one thing. There's the ampersand. And, uh, hmm. I'm going to have to think about this last thing because uh, I might have to chop off the last line of a text file. And I don't know how to do that real quick. But this is not a big release, so I am going to uh, commit and push this. And that sets me up really uh, well for the uh, next and last uh, step of getting this uh, to beta. Thanks for joining me and uh, hope to talk to you soon and don't forget to subscribe.